What's going on guys, it's Frank. I'm gonna go over how to do standard curve using Excel. Right now I'm using my MacBook, so if you don't have a MacBook, hopefully this will translate over to your PC. So as you can see, we have two columns over here. We have our A column and our B column. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go over to my A column and highlight all the data below and then press Command. And then go over to my B column and do the same thing and then let go. I'm going to go to my insert button and which will allow me to see all the different graphs I'm able to use and for this particular assignment we're prompted to use our scatter plot so I'm going to press the down button there and which should show me the scatter plot as it did. So I'm going to delete the chart title because that's not where we want it and there you go. Now before we go any further, I want to change a few things about the chart layout. First, I want my distance migrated to be on the x-axis. And I want my molecular weight to be on the y-axis. So basically, I'm going to flip-flop these two things. There are actually two different ways you can go about doing this. Um, one way is to copy and paste uh, these two sets of data. So copy and paste distance migrated from the A column and then vice versa, molecular weight. To the B column, but I think this is harder, especially if you have multiple sets of data and you know multiple columns, um, because you'll end up having to do this a bunch of different times, and it can get confusing, and you can mix up a few things which you never want to do with your data. So, um, if you only have two columns, it's not that bad, but if you have more, it definitely is. So, what I like to do instead is go over and click my uh, chart which will go to chart design and then go to select data so right now I'm just gonna delete my X values on here and instead I'm gonna highlight my distance migrated which I want to be on my X instead and then do the same thing for my Y delete that and then go to my molecular weight Um, and put that there. So now my molecular weight should be on my Y and my distance migrated should be on the X. And then I'm going to press OK. And right away you already see a change. So now you see molecular weight on the Y and my distance migrated on the X. And then I actually want to change one more thing. I want to change the logarithmic scale of my distance migrated. So I want it to go by tens. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on this, which will show format axis. And if you're on, once you double click on it, once you're on it, it'll give you the option to see the graph icon. And you're going to click on that and go to your axis options. And I'm going to scroll down and click on logarithmic scale. And it's already set to 10, which is what I want. And so you can probably play around with that and base it off, you know, another set of numbers. But 10 is what I want. So now I got my 1 to 10 to 100 to 1,000. So that's perfect. And so I'm just going to click out of that. Alrighty. So now I'm going to go ahead and add chart elements. So now I want to add my axis titles. So I'm going to go and do my x-axis first, which is my uh, primary horizontal. And I'm going to put distance migrated. All right. And then I'm going to go over to my exercise again and do my vertical, which is my y-axis. And do my molecular weight. I'm also going to make sure to put in my units there, right there. All right, perfect. Now, when you want to change the size of it, because it's kind of hard to see there, I'm just going to click on the title and then go to home and then, you know, increase it to, you know, a number that I think is right. So I changed it to like 16. 
and you can move it around a little bit if you want and do the same thing with my um, y-axis as well so I'm gonna go back and change that to 16 I'll go ahead and increase the entire thing so that there's space alrighty perfect and now that I have those two things I'm gonna go back to chart design and I'm gonna go to add trend line which will allow me to see you know the line there and that line is for all the known values that we have so the molecular weight and of course the distance migrated and that's pretty cool so now that now that I have the line there I'm gonna click on that line and I'm gonna scroll down um, so once you click on the line it'll also pop up that you know graph icon and you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna say display click on that display equation on chart button and I'm gonna move that equation up again and again go back to my home and uh, that's set at 9 and that's way too small so I'm gonna put that at 16 as well and that equation is gonna be how you know that y equals mx plus b which goes back to all the way back to algebra 1 and um, that'll allow you to use your known values to calculate the unknown proteins um, in the equation so for, for the equation I guess so using those two different things uh, using the, the trend line and using uh, and then displaying the equation that allow you to do that for that problem fairly easy and so there you go uh, that's how you, that's how you do standard curve on Excel so just going over it one more time highlighting these two things highlighting these two columns uh, displaying the chart um, going back to chart design so that you can uh, change the switch if it's not already switched if it's not in the format that you want, you can switch the, the y-axis and the x-axis. And um, then you can play around with the font of the titles for each uh, axis. And then go back to add chart elements, which you can add uh, the trend line and click on that trend line. And once you click on that trend line, you'll be able to uh, scroll down and add chart add to the equation on your chart and you can also play around with that size too which should help you to find the unknown proteins that you're looking for